One day while on a day trip, Sandra and I was visiting the Bunker Hill covered bridge in Catawba County. We noticed a peculiar looking symbol with a sign that read Carolina Thread Trail just underneath it. Now being an avid hiker, I looked into it and learned that it was a regional network of connected greenways, trailways, and blueways that reaches 15 counties in two states and that it was still growing with new trails being added. I had always wanted Sandra to hike with me and thought that this may be just the thing. So after looking at the website, we both set out to complete every single thread trail. So grab your gear and come along with us as we set out to hike or paddle every thread trail and learn with us about the history, the geology, and people of these areas. I'm sure there will never be a dull moment. God, look at this. I thought there was a rock behind me. Uh -uh. Looks like this might be bear tracks. The McEachern Greenway in Concord, NC connects downtown Concord with J.W. Mickey McGee Park and the Les Myers Greenway. The Carolina Thread Trail segment comprises roughly one mile of the larger four mile downtown Greenway Loop. Additional information and a map of the four mile system is available. The McEachern section is a part of the Carolina Thread Trail it is composed of a wide paved trail for pedestrians and bicyclists. There are trail markers every quarter mile. Bathrooms are located at J.W. Mickey McGee Park. Parts of the trail consist of long, low-lying wood paths over wetlands. There are a series of life trail exercise stations along the trail which provide opportunities and directions for a circuit workout along the way. In addition, there are several covered picnic benches scattered throughout the trail. It is perfect for exercise, a picnic, or a connection to downtown. The length of the trail is 0 0.8 miles one way. Hours of operation are dawn to dusk. All right, so now it's time for me to show you what Sandra and I did on this trail here. Um, what you see in front of you, I'm just going to take my mouse here. This is going to be the parking lot, and this is what the parking lot looks like. Um, I believe that's going to be an attorney's office is where you're going to actually be at, if my mind serves me correctly. Um, but what you'll do is the beginning of the trail is right there at that parking lot, right here where you see my mouse at. You'll see this down here. If you look where my mouse is, that's what you're going to see. You'll know you're at the right spot and you're just going to continue on down the trail and uh, right where my mouse is right here where you see this curve you're going to see some bat boxes this is the first time i've ever seen bat boxes um, on a trail but that is really neat that they're you know trying to take care of the bats and uh, you know we really need them you would be surprised how many insects would be around if we didn't have the bats and so they do have bat boxes and so you're going to see me talk about that um, in the video but uh, again this is a short trail it's not real long it's almost a mile long one way and then you'll double right back and so really nice um, uh, place to, to walk um, of course here's a free library you'll see that at the park area and um, it's just it's really nice now what's unique about this trail here is that they have these little exercise um, little uh, things uh, scattered around peppered here and there and they're really neat I mean they're really exercises I mean you could sit down and actually do just different exercises sit down stand up they have calf raises it's really unique I've never seen anything like quite like that and uh, but not for not real strenuous and so it just adds to the um, the whole flavor um, of this hike and so um, also uh, I actually stumbled upon a geocache and that I found that somewhere in this area here if you see where my mouse is it's somewhere in this area here I found that geocache and so I won't tell you any more about that for you geocachers but he's out there he's hanging around out there he's not too far off the trail and so but uh let's go to um, a bigger 
um, area here. I'm just what I'm doing is I've just backed away from the uh, from the trail right here where you see my um, mouse at. That's the thread trail right there. Now what Sandra and I did is called the Downtown Greenway Loop. It's about four miles. It's four miles. And what you'll do is you'll start right here where the parking lot is, where I showed you where the Carolina Thread Trail is. And you'll just start on that trail. And right when you get to the end of it, you're going to go under under the road here. There's a, there's a tunnel, real neat tunnel. You're going to go right under it, under it, and you're just going to keep right on. Now, what I've done is if I've named the roads that you're going to uh, make, uh, note this is real key here now there is a map of this online on the Carolina thread trail right where you see the description of the uh, uh, the thread trail right where it says here um, just click on that and you can get a PDF form of this or when you actually get here on the trail they will have um, these kiosks set set up with the map of this so you're gonna see that them um, after you get past um, the uh, I don't remember seeing that map past the, the park area, um, but it's very well um, laid out. You're going to know you're there. Um, you're going to see these flag poles, um, the poles with the um, with the Greenway um, signs on it. So you're going to see that. But this is what the, those maps are going to look look like when you when you see that. That's that's what you call the downtown Greenway loop. So what Sandra and I did is we just kept on going, and you're going to be running right beside of Branch View Drive, and then you're going to run into Lawndale Avenue. You'll take a right, you'll keep going, and then you'll see an area in the road where pedestrians can cross. That's where you're going to want to cross at, and then that's going to take you to another road. Um, I didn't note that down here on the map here. I'm wanting to say it's Patton or something like that, but you'll know. You'll know it. It's very well marked out. Uh, for the thread trail, but you're going to go down um, a neighborhood, and um, and once you start in this area here, you're basically going to be in neighborhoods. You're going to be in neighborhoods, but you're going to hit um, take another right at Union Street, and that's going to take you into a historic area of town, and you'll see a lot of neat things going through there, a lot of nice houses and stuff, and that's going to take you right into downtown. Now, what you'll do is you'll take a right on Means. Now, on the video, you're going to see me go by Means means because they've got it cordoned off you're not able to walk down it because they're doing construction so what I did is I went to Cabarrus Avenue and made a right and then I came around and came back to the parking area and so but that's what we did it was a very nice hike um and so, but when you get to the downtown, if you want to, um, I passed a coffee shop. Um, there's some places to eat at. And so, but you can have yourself a really good time. And so, but guys, let's go ahead and let you see the video so you can see what we saw. thought you'd like to see this if I'm remembering correctly these little boxes up here if you can see the shape of them it's kind of hard to see it I'm hoping the camera can get it see how flat they are if I'm thinking right these are bat boxes I'll see if I can get a little closer yeah I'm thinking these are bat boxes. They, ooh, 
I actually thought I heard something. Um, but there's slats. There's slats up here. And then the bats go up underneath there and they can hang. And so, um, but it's the first time I've ever seen anything like this. And so that's neat. It's really neat. Okay, we were walking on the trail. Here's the trail right here. And while I was just looking around, I saw this orange thing on this tree. And it just, it caught my eye and I was like, okay. So being me, I decided to come over here and do a little investigate. And I said, I don't see a fence. So I came over to it and there's something inside of this thing. You can actually take this off, unscrew it, and um, and look inside of it. All right. This is here, I don't know. I'm not sure. It don't. It could be. It very well could be. If if so, I got some little dinosaurs with me. I'll stick a dinosaur in there. Yeah, it's a geocache. It's a geocache. Okay. Wow. We'll have to. If any of you have never done geocaching, you've got to check this out. This is cool. This is cool. Um, but it's attached to this tree here. Um, yeah, it's in my it's in my backpack. We gotta put our name. It's in my day pack. Okay, but guys, what you do is you um, you put um, your name or you put the date and time you were here, and um, and then some of these there's actually enough room in here where you can leave something now I've got some little toy dinosaurs with me and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can find a little small dinosaur and I'm gonna put it in there for them um, I don't think this one here is it's actually required um, but usually they're supposed to leave you a little pencil in here a pen and uh, but if you've never done geocaching you need to do you some geocaching it's a lot of fun and so um, sometimes on these thread trails we'll actually try to do a, um, a geocache at the same time but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see if we can um, leave a little note here for this okay we put a little dinosaur inside of it can you turn it a little bit and it is a definitely a geocache and so that's cool Usually they're a little bit harder to find. I, we stumbled, I wouldn't have been looking for this one and saw it. And so, but any rate, the owner, we'll see if we can get on the geocache site and let them know that we found it. And uh, then now the next person will be able to come up here and they'll take the dinosaur if they want it. And then they'll leave something if they can. Like I said, not every geocache you leave stuff, but I had a small enough dinosaur and so but we're gonna go ahead and get back on the trail here <laughs> this is it here
Okay, guys. Um, the road that I was supposed to cut down, which is Means, M-E-A-N-S, was blocked off due to construction. Sandra cut down, I believe it was Corbin, C-O-R-B-A-N, and she cut through that way to get back to the car. I just gave her the car keys. But uh, I um, went through town a little bit, and um, so actually we are parked uh let me get past this building over here we are actually parked right over here that's where we entered in at was this area right over here and um so i'm gonna cut through we actually did more than what the thread trail had and so um which we usually do and um the thread trail had everything marked correctly on the website and so but we just wanted to make it a little bit longer and challenge ourselves and so but please check that out we did um a great big giant rectangle um estimating the miles um to be over four over four miles um probably under be somewhere between four and five miles is what it ended up being but at any rate uh you guys uh be looking forward to the other videos that i have and uh, please check out the carolina thread trails website lots to offer take care bye bye